Amelie, Amelie, do you hear that? Oh my God, I'm not even sure anymore. It's been so long. I think, I think that's a cruise ship. Oh my God. Wow. This is a cruise ship. Where are you? I'm actually looking out at the Toronto Harbor. I think it's coming in now. Is it a Regent ship? I think it is. Amelie, what's going on with Region 7 Seas? Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you. We're here with Amelie Dubois, Business Development Manager, Northeast and Eastern Canada for Region 7 Seas Cruises. Amelie, thank you so much for being here today. Cruising is back in the news. I mean, I feel like it never left, but lately we've been hearing a lot about the cruise industry's restart and all the work that it's putting into health and safety and starting this industry again. So this is a very timely moment that you can join us here today. We were talking earlier and you told me that the Regent brand, it's not very well known in Canada, but it is gaining some steam in the marketplace. What can you say about that? Absolutely. So Regent Seven Seas Cruises is a very small luxury cruise line. We have only five ships between 490 to 750 guests. So we are very exclusive and we don't actually work with the mass market. So that's what we are saying about we are not very popular. But hey, we are becoming more and more popular because as you know, with that kind of environment that we live in, we can see that more and more people want to be on a smaller ship. They don't want to be in a very crowded environment. And so um, we have very spacious ship and we can see all those new clients joining the brand because they really want to transition and go in a small luxury cruise line and make sure they are in great hands for their next vacation. Absolutely. And that extra space is really key right now. But Region 7 Seas, for people who may not know much about the brand, what is it all about? Yeah, so Region 7 Seas is actually a very different cruise line because we are the only one who is offering a true all-inclusive experience. And we were talking about that earlier. There is no catch. Everything is truly inclusive. Uh, we want you to have um, an experience, an arrival experience where you can just enjoy without limitation or without hassle. We just want to enjoy the best you can our ships are as i said they are very small and our ratio um we have one crew member for 1.4 passenger mm. so from the moment they're going to step on board the ship to the moment they're going to disembark they know they will be in great hands with region as a luxury line we truly have an amazing culinary program an amazing menu high quality food but to me it's not just about the food, it's about the experience. We do have a big dining room, specialty dining, veranda, uh, buffet, uh, grill. You can do a dinner under the star and everything is included. So people are really spread out on the ship and you never have to fight for a table. Immersive exploration because you know that we have small ship and we can go where other big guy can go. That's why the ship is waiting just in front of your house. <laughs> That's why Richard is there today. But yes, we do have an immersive exploration and for clients who really want to uh, learn about a destination, uh, emerge themselves with the culture, we really do offer all the excursions included in your package. So imagine you don't have to pay for that. And the last but not least, we have the biggest suite in the industry. Um, the minimum suite is 307 square feet. Wow. So it's, it's pretty big. You have, it's 99% balconies. So you do have all the space, all the comfort you need to enjoy your vacation just enjoy the destination and that all those points makes the unrivaled experience that region wants to offer our guests. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what the demand looks like out there right now, especially because there's a lot of people out there who have credits they need to use. What should those people do? Not only we have all those clients who are trying to rebook, but we also have all those new clients who want to, they just want to go 
and they are already planning for 2022 and they want to go to the small cruise lines. So we have a very high demand of new clients joining our fleet, plus all the loyal clients because Regent has a lot of loyal clients. When you start with Regent, you don't go anywhere else. You come back to us. And actually, you know what? The 2022 World Cruise is already sold out. The 2023 World Cruise is already sold out. We have a couple of sailing in 2022 fully booked already. So if you have a future cruise credit, I I would use it as soon as possible. And if you are a new client and you just want to go somewhere, well, try to plan now because the demand is there. And when the demand is there, you know that pricing tend to go up. So if I were you, I would just call your travel agent as soon as possible. So Regent has higher prices, but there's an important reason for that. Explain why. We are the only cruise line, as I said, that truly offered all inclusive. So there is no surprise with us. The price is this one, but when you get on board, there is no nickel and diming. We do include business class air, transfers, on the exotic sailing, we do include a pre-land package of three nights. If you go to Asia, South America, Africa, uh, Australia, we do offer three night pre with excursions and things like that. Mm. And on board, I mean, you have all your excursions included. You have um, the beverage that are included and that's not a beverage package. Beverage are just included. You don't need to check, is my drink included or no or yes or no. You just enjoy your vacation. Uh, Wi-Fi, laundry. Uh, actually, you know what's easier to say? We're going to talk about what's not included. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so only the spa and the casino are not included. Other than that, except if you want a very special excursion and you want to take a helicopter to go on top of the glacier in Alaska, this is different. <laughs> but other than that, it's truly all inclusive. You pay at the beginning, you know what you pay for, and then you are just good to go. Absolutely. Now, of course, we have to talk about health and safety. What do we need to know about the latest measures, especially over these next few months as we come out of the pandemic? Yeah, and this is evolving every day. We've been working with the CDC and we have 68 pages, so I'm not going to go through every single one of them. How much time do you have, people? (laughs) 68 pages worth. There is a lot to talk about. Um, For sure, um, everybody will need to be vaccinated to be on board, crew and guests. So uh, that's very important to know. Mask will be required on certain areas, not in... And to start with, I don't know in 2022 what it's going to be. What I'm talking to you, it's now. When are we going to go back to the water? This is what we have in place. But we have different measures that um, we we put in place on the ship. Like to me, the most important one is the air filters that we change. And it hospital grade filters. We will have a daily fogging in all the suite on a daily basis and also in all the public areas. We also have a team working with every single port of call, making sure they are ready to welcome you in land because we want you to be safe in land as well. So that's extremely important. We don't want anything to happen. So we're working very hard to to have the best protocol in place. Well, listen, it sounds like everyone's working around the clock to put together a healthy and a safe experience for everyone when cruising resumes. But um, oh, did you hear that? I think oh that, my God! the ship, I think the ship's leaving without us. Quick, grab your stuff. Oh